It's live from last week, episode 41. Let's, Let's go! go! Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you go. There you go. Welcome you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Just want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, a quick shout out to Justin who did that amazing intro for us this week. So guys, be sure to shout out to me if you want to be featured in the next episode's intro. Just like Justin. But yeah, after spending the whole day at home editing videos for the Live From Last Week episode 40 episode, we are on our way downtown to catch the first game of a crucial three game series featuring the Blue Jays against the Yankees. So taking the GO train for the first time in a long time and I want you guys to join me. Let's go. So unfortunately guys, the Blue Jays just couldn't pull out the win tonight. And after dropping off the fiance at her cousin's place after the game, I'm back at home in order to give you guys several birthday greetings for today. And there's a lot of them, so let's get through them quickly. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to my old co-worker, Maeve. Happy birthday, Maeve. I'm remembering working with you at BVG while I was at the health center. And for some reason, every time I'm commuting through Leslieville on Eastern, I sometimes think I'm seeing you doing a running session or walking a big dog. We've got another birthday greeting for a family friend, Anthony. Happy birthday, Anthony. I remember when you visited Toronto years back when you brought Brit, as well as talking motorcycles with you at that time. And the next birthday greeting goes out to my tito in the Philippines, Father Favi. Happy birthday, Father Favi. I'm remembering a long time ago talking soccer with you in my backyard here in Canada, and also how you enjoyed watching Real Madrid at that time. And the next birthday greeting that I have for you guys today is for another one of my old co-workers, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm remembering working alongside you back when you were here in Toronto, as well as taking group selfies in the elevator when we had our holiday parties. And last but not least, I have another birthday greeting for one of my old Wysak friends, Nikki. Happy birthday, Nikki. I'm remembering the times when we were both working there as CAs. As well as another memory with you a couple years back when I motorcycled in the rain up to Newmarket to support you in your new book signing. Anyways, to Maeve, Anthony, Father Favi, Sarah, and Nikki, I want to wish you guys a very happy birthday. So after doing household chores all day and watching Champions League soccer featuring Manchester United in a match with this beaut of a goal. Bruno Fernandes in charge. trying to get free set up for Tellez what a goal oh! <laughs> well, that... bowling back the years we've seen Paul Scholes last night for the, for the distance on the volley the left back who's not at the best of games pulls one out the back what a beauty it's the end of the month meaning time to visit my Lula at the cemetery so this is actually one of the only times that I've come here during the afternoon Mainly because I usually visit during the mornings. But anyways, Lola, just wanted to say hi. Wanted to say we miss you, we love you. Bye for now, Lola, and we'll visit you next month again. And now I'm in Scarborough to visit my Atisha and Blueberry for some pizza. Homemade. Oh, here, take it up, take it up. I normally eat three pizzas. Salami. Salami, okay, well. Oh, my sister's on the second time. Look at the face. 
Where's the face there? Is that the face? <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, oh, you'll cut it the other way, like this. Okay, here, hold it on the top. Help mom. Put pressure on it. There you go. Cheese pizza. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you're gonna need a slicer. Or yes, please. Okay, let me just check in. Cheers. <laughs> Sounds good. So after enjoying that homemade pizza, then watching on TV the Blue Jays win on an eighth inning home run by Bo Bichette against the Yankees, I decided to drive back home at night while using my party lights celebrating in my car. And now I'm back at home to wrap up the night with a birthday greeting to Nikki. Happy birthday, Nikki. I'm remembering our times more than 10 years ago now when we traveled together to World Youth Day with the SMOT and SDROP group, touring both Italy and Spain at that time. Anyways, Nikki, hope you're doing well, stay safe and healthy out there, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday this year. So after having a nice stretch of days off, which ironically, I don't feel fully rested because I was so busy on those days off. I've realized that starting tonight, I'm going in for my first of my four night shifts in a row. But before I did that, earlier today, I went around Scarborough driving, being an Uber delivery goods driver, delivering this nice big box of envelopes to my fiance so that she can do a couple of arts and crafts on her days off as well as Uber driving her to the closest Penguin Pickup Center because she had a couple of packages to pick up from there as well. But yeah, before I go into work today, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my childhood friends, Bronson. Happy birthday, Bronson. I'm remembering back in elementary school and in high school playing basketball with you, as well as competing with you in the Knights of Columbus free throw championships. Anyways, Bronson, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And I have one more shout out for one of my aunties that is in the Philippines, which is actually brought to you by my parents. This is our surprise video for you. Happy 50th birthday, okay, Yoli? Happy birthday, Yoli, good health. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that greeting, Auntie Yoli. And I hope that you had a great celebration in the Philippines as well. Hey guys, just want to wish you all a happy first day of October. So for today, I got a little bit of bittersweet news to share with you guys. Yesterday, while talking with my parents on Messenger, I found out that my dad was feeling a little bit under the weather. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick shout out to my dad. I hope you get well soon so that I can take you out on the driving range as well as an 18-hole round of golf and some beer and wings, and make use of that golfing Groupon that I got you for Father's Day. But yeah, I forgot to mention all the things that I did on Monday that I couldn't fit in last week's episode. And you remember this scene from episode 40? I scheduled a date with the fiancé to actually take the kayak out later on today. But unfortunately, you guys will have to wait till next week to see the video for that. Well, on that day, before I went to 102 to help babysit my niece and my nephew that night, the fiance and I went to the Humber River to do a late September kayak excursion. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that adventure. And just realizing that I'm doing a stretch of 8 shifts in 11 days, I just have a couple of birthday greetings before I go in for my second of my 4 night shifts tonight. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my friends on the west coast, Tannis. Happy birthday Tannis. I'm remembering visiting you and Rob early last year when I went to Vancouver. As well as popping sparkling wine in your condo over there. 
and meeting your little Liam. Anyways, Tannis, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say a big hello to Rob and Liam for me, and I hope that you had an amazing birthday. I've also got a second birthday greeting for you guys. And this one goes out to Madeline. Happy birthday, Madeline. I'm remembering first meeting you at Ryerson at the Catholic Chaplaincy, as well as taking you to the Ryerson Parade and Picnic on Toronto Island when you were a freshman, and to meeting you up in Ottawa whenever I'm there visiting my sister. Anyways, Maddie, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday as well. So after a three and a half hour nap after my night shift, we made our commute to downtown Toronto four hours early. The reason why, you ask? We're going to the Blue Jays game in the middle of my four night shifts. Let's go Blue Jays! We got you guys something. Oh my god. There you go. There you go. Woo! That's my name! Alright guys, so after that game and after that amazing result by the Blue Jays, I'm off to my second, no actually third of my four night shifts tonight. And I'll just see you guys tomorrow. What a game we had yesterday. And did I mention we even had a couple of appearances on the Jumbotron. And shout outs to a couple of friends that reached out to me to tell me that I was on the Jumbotron too. So yeah, next time Maggie and Joy will link up at the game, if I don't have a night shift to go to afterwards, that is. But either way, we tried to reenact our own little Jumbotron experience while driving the Mini. Woo! Blue Jays win! Let's go! Me, 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 me! And did I mention that at the game, I made a couple of new purchases, including this sick red Blue Jays cap as well as a jersey that I gifted to my mentor at work, who is also a big Blue Jays fan. There you go, I'm giving it to you. How does it look? Hopefully this will help you, what is it called? <laughs> Throw a 90 mile per hour fastball now. No, 90 mile per hour? Yeah. That's my curveball. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry look, boy. Yeah, man. My so fastball is 100 miles. <laughs> what are you talking about? 100 miles. Breaking ball is 90 miles per hour. Oh, and <laughs> also, I'm going in for my last of my four night shifts tonight. So it's time to celebrate with my usual song that helps me get through my shift. That goes one more night. But before I go in tonight, do you guys remember the beach volleyball tournament that I was in exactly a week ago? Well, here are the highlights from the second part of the tourney as promised. <laughs>
and before I go into work tonight, I just have a birthday greeting for one of my high school friends, Alonzo! Happy birthday, Alonzo! I'm remembering playing soccer with you on the team that won the loss of championship at St. Stephen's. And seeing the quickness and agility that you always brought to the pitch, as well as your deadly left foot scoring goals right, left, and center. Man, those were good times. Anyways, Alonzo, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday. So I don't know if you guys heard about yesterday, but we got some good news and some bad news from my beloved Toronto Blue Jays. First, the good news, where we beat the Baltimore Orioles to secure a possible wildcard playoff spot, just as long as the Boston Red Sox or the New York Yankees lose their game. But number two, the bad news, is that late in the games, the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees both pulled out wins. Meaning, my beloved Blue Jays were eliminated from playoff contention. And it's bittersweet because they had such a nice run this year. And in a tough division where four of the five teams had 90 wins or more, the entertaining baseball that they provided us at the end of the season was more than enough. So yeah, anyways, after only having a three hour post night shift nap, I'm gonna drive back to my hometown to visit my family and Tito Eddie to see how he's doing. Well, the sister also requested that I bring a six pack when I go visit them. And since I don't really drink beer that often, I'm gonna bring this six pack that I was actually gifted a couple weeks back so that we can all enjoy it together. There you go, your fresh Uber delivery. <laughs> Alexander is thick. How are you feeling, Dad? Okay? All right. So so? <laughs> He's ready with his bananas. Strong. Strong but weak. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like my dad is staying strong, eating bananas for strength, and doing what he does. And also, while roaming the house earlier today, I found out that some people might be doing a little bit of renos. Checking out my parents' bathroom, and whoa, what happened to the bathtub and shower? Whoa, this is crazy. This is the first time I've seen no bathtub or shower since this house was made. And that's like over 30 years now. And I guess we'll wrap up the episode there. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.